Hello and welcome to Farm Space. We're out here in Amula with the ETTC group with their virtual showroom. And next we have the 8140 truck. Come, let's have a look. Hello, France. How are you doing today? Well, and yourself? Awesome. So next up, Good. we've got here the 8140. Chat yes. to us about this one. This one. Okay. This is what we call our five ton in the range over here. Again, noting the nomenclature on the side of the door, eight ton GVM, 140 horsepower. Also a turbocharged intercooled Cummins motor that's in this truck. And chat to us about the differences between the 8140 and the 6130. What's the main difference between the two? Uh, engine size on the vehicle and also the GVM and the carrying capacity. This one would be your three tonner and then obviously coming up to the five tonner. So you've got a two ton higher payload on this vehicle over here. Uh, more fit for purpose and obviously more geared towards the, the construction side, you know, loading heavy, yes. heavier materials and things like that. And let's just take a walk through, walk around and see what we've got going on over here. Absolutely. You'll note with this one over here, the fuel tank now on this vehicle is now mounted on the right hand side. Um, easy access, especially if you're pulling in by the pumps, because it's just, just under, the, under the load body. As you'll see, this one's been fitted with a five meter drop side, so it's ready to go. So happy days for a customer when he comes in here, he can take his truck. Perfect. And inside over here? If you have a look inside the cab, again, a wide cab variant on you, so driver plus two passengers. Same standard features as that you get in the small truck, so we've got aircon, power steering, um, we have a look here, radio with Bluetooth and, and USB, um, tilt adjustable steering wheel, and full air brakes on this system over here. You'll note over here is actually the air brake lever itself. Oh yes, so over there. Not a standard uh, pull-up handbrake that you would get on the smaller truck. Yeah, we've actually got the full air braking system on this unit. And chat us about the fuel consumption. Fuel of consumption this truck. on this one obviously also varies from application to application, but we're probably averaging here between five and a half and six lit uh, six kilometers to the liter. Okay, perfect. And over on this side? If we take a walk around this side over here, you'll notice to tilt the cab, very easy operation. You've got your pulling lever system over here, tilt, cab tilts up over here. Ease of access for your daily pre-checks mm -hmm. for the driver, so you can check his oil levels, water, and uh, all other things that he needs to check before his daily, daily trips that he takes out. Fuse box cover over here, and obviously you can see the air tanks for the, for the air brakes all mounted on the left-hand side. Uh, easy checking over here. You can pull on the levers, see if there's any water in the tanks, and you can actually bleed them dry. If he feels that the brakes are binding, then he needs to, to move the vehicle. Perfect. Thank you so much, Franz. It's only my pleasure. So there you have it. That was the 8140. If you've got any more questions or you just want to request a quote, make sure you hit that button down below over there. And make sure you climb into all these other trucks and see what they've got going on. Till next time, cheers.